BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. We're going to be, um, a family is going to come into the house of Benjamin, first of all. And we're going to go over, because they've never seen this, y vamos a, a repasar esto porque no lo han visto antes. or been a part of this before. O han sido parte de esto antes. And many of you have not seen this before either. Muchos de ustedes tampoco han visto esto. God has his order for everything. Dios tiene su orden para todo. And he, when he brings a child into the world, y cuando él trae su, un niño al mundo, he allows you to become part of his house if el, you wish. Él permite que seas parte de la casa si deseas. In the book of Exodus chapter 1, en el libro de Éxodo, capítulo uno, verse 1 through 5, versos uno al cinco, it talks about the 12 tribes of Israel. Habla de las 12 tribus de Israel. God has only made a promise to one grouping of people. Dios ha hecho solo la promesa a un grupo de personas. And that is the Jewish people, the Hebrew people. Y esa es la gente hebrea. He didn't give a promise to the Puerto Ricans. No hizo una promesa a los puertorriqueños. The Americans. Los americanos. The British. Los británicos. He only gave a promise Él solo to the hizo Jewish la people. promesa a la gente judía. But he welcomes everybody into that house if you want to become part of it. Pero él dio la bienvenida a todos los que quieran ser parte de él. If we're to keep the Sabbath, si the Shabbat, el Shabbat el Sabbat, then we should follow all the other rules that apply in Torah. Entonces, tenemos que seguir las otras reglas que se aplican en la Torah. God knew that we would be living here in America and other parts of the world. Dios sabía que viviríamos aquí en América y otras partes del mundo. He knew that we would not be in the land of Israel for 2,000 years. Él sabía que no íbamos a vivir en la tierra de Israel por 2,000 años. So the question has to be asked. La pregunta se debe hacer. If we're to keep Shabbat, si vamos a guardar Shabbat, then do we keep everything else? Entonces, ¿será que... Uh, uh, el resto. And here at Beth Goyim, we definitely keep everything else. So we're going to do something special today. Vamos a hacer algo el día de hoy. Okay. In Leviticus 23, verse 14. En 23, verso 14. And in verse 21. En verso 21. And in verse 31. Y en el verso 31. It speaks about doing these things no matter where you live. Habla de hacer estas cosas no importa donde vivas. So that means keeping the Sabbath, Significa guardar el sábado, keeping the holy days, guardar el día santo, and dedicating your children, y dedicar a tus hijos, and becoming part of the house of Israel. Y ser parte de la casa de Israel. And so God says this, we do these things no matter where you live, Dios dice, hacemos estas cosas, no importa donde vivas. Through all your generations. Para todas las generaciones. It applies to all the holy days. It applies to other parts. Y esto trata de todos los días santos y las otras partes. Okay. In Ezekiel 48. En Ezequiel 48. Verse 30. Verso 30. In the new temple that comes down out of heaven. En el nuevo templo que baja del de, de cielo. There are 12 gates. Hay 12 puertas. There's no Bolivian gate. No hay la puerta de los bolivianos. There's no uh, Costa Rica gate. No hay la puerta de los costarricenses. There's no Canada gate. No hay la puerta de los canadienses. The names on the 12 gates that come out of heaven los nombres de las 12 puertas que vienen del cielo are of the 12 tribes of Israel. Son de las 12 tribus de Israel. 
Same goes for talking. We have to translate this because it's also being broadcast around the globe. Esto también está siendo traducido al, eh, eh, transmitido alrededor del mundo. So you got to become part of one of those houses. Entonces tienes que ser parte de una de esas casas. If Ezekiel saw the vision of the new temple. Si Ezequiel vio la visión del nuevo templo. Coming out of heaven. Bajando del cielo. And he saw the gates. Y vio las puertas. And on the gates one said Benjamin. Y en las puertas en una de esas decía Benjamin. One said Gad. One said Shimon. One said Reuven. You have to be able to go into one of those gates. You got to become part of one of the houses of Israel. They don't teach this in the Christian church. But the Lord makes a way that the Gentiles can be part of of the promise. Because that's how loving our Father in heaven is. In Numbers chapter 15, verse 14 through 16, it talks about if a foreigner wants to become part of Israel, Look at specifically at verse 15 and 16. For this community, there will be the same law for you as for the foreigner living with you. This is a permanent regulation through all your generations. The foreigner is to be treated the same way before Jehovah as yourselves. The same Torah standard of judgment will apply both to you and the goyim, the foreigner living with you. Amen? Amen. One standard of judgment. One standard of juicio. So that means God is fair to all people. Eso significa que Dios es justo con toda la gente. He's going to treat you the same way. Él te va a tratar de la misma manera. Either as he treats his own children. Como él trata a sus his own covenant hijos, children. A sus, a los hijos de su pacto. The same rule is applying. Las mismas reglas se aplican. Going on to the next slide. The word uh, foreigner there. La palabra extranjero allí. The root word is ger. La palabra raíz es ger. That's a singular foreigner. Ese es para un uh, extranjero singular. But when you get a group, it is goyim. Pero cuando tienes un grupo es goyim. Okay. The rules, if you want to be part of the house of Israel, are the same. Si quieres ser parte de la casa de Israel, las reglas son las mismas. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. Juan and Alejandra and their baby. Juan, Alejandra y su bebé are going to become part of the house of Israel today. So they should be listening to this. Juan and Alejandra, please come up front. With the baby. Can you make some room from up them up front to sit? I want them to understand what is going on. Please come sit next to one set of grandparents. <laughs> we got all the grandparents here today, right? That's your mother and father, right, Gabriel? Hello, shalom. And that's Juan, is that your mom? Alejandra's mom. Yeah. No, that's your mom. That's like, because you're talking, I was like, wow, welcome. Okay? I want you guys to understand what you're going to do today. And it, it's very important. It's very important. Not to me. No para mí. But to our Father in heaven and to His Son Yeshua. Pero para el Padre en el cielo y a su hijo Yeshua. The same rules that apply to me are going to apply to you. Las mismas reglas que se aplican para ti se van a aplicar para para se aplican para mí se aplicarán para ti. And in the book of Romans, chapter 11. En el libro de Romanos, capítulo 11. Verse 13 through 20. Verso 13 al 20. It talks about being engrafted in. Habla de ser injertado. Into the Hebrew olive tree. Al Árbol de olivo hebreo. You're going to become part of the house of Israel today. You guys are going to make a public vow Van a hacer un, una promesa pública that can never be broken. Que nunca será rota. Now, Camilla, Camilla's life is at, at stake. The vow that you're going to make 
today el voto que van a hacer el día is de hoy. not for her. No va a ser para ella. It is for you as a father and sí. you as a mother. Si no es para ti como padre y tú como madre. That you're going to agree to the laws of God. Que vas a estar de acuerdo en las leyes de Dios. Not just the ones you like. No solo las que te gustan. But to all the laws of God. Pero todas las leyes de Dios. You're going to make a vow before this entire congregation. Vas a hacer un voto en frente de toda esta congregación. That you're going to raise up that beautiful little girl. Que vas a criar a esa niña hermosa. To be a woman of God. Para ser una mujer de Dios. And you're going to make a vow before, most of all, before God himself. Understand that God kicked the Jewish people out of their own house. Entiende que Dios expulsó a la gente judía de su propia casa. For 2,000 years. Por 2,000 años. Because they broke their promise to God. Porque ellos rompieron su promesa con Dios. So make, make sure you understand this today. Asegúrense que entienden esto el día de hoy. if you don't want to do it, that's okay. Y si no quieren hacerlo, está bien. But what we are going to do then, if you do agree to it, is Pero bow. Pero lo que vamos a hacer, si están de acuerdo, va a ser un voto. Because you're part of the Hebrew olive tree. Porque son parte del, del árbol de olivo hebreo. The word grafted in in Romans 11. La palabra injertada en Romanos 11. Think about that, that, what you're about to do. Piensa Juan. acerca de lo que vas a hacer. As the leader of your home, Como líder de tu casa. okay, is very important. Es muy importante. Because you, as the head of your household, Porque tú como cabeza de tu casa, is the leader of a home. Como líder de la casa. And the way you lead y la manera que tú guíes is not by your arm and strength, no es para por tu brazo fuerza. but it is more strength that you have up here. Pero es más fuerza de lo que tienes aquí. And you're becoming part of the house of Israel. Y tú podrías ser parte de la casa de Israel. Grafting means to be cut into. Grafted signif eh, injertado significa de ser cortado en. Going on to the next slide. Romans 11 verse 19. Romanos 11 verse 19. Branches were broken off so that you can become part of our family. La, um, ramas fueron rotas por ti para que puedas ser parte de nuestra familia. So it's very important to understand that. Es muy importante entender eso. That if God shafted, shafted off some that were of his promise. Que si Dios cortó a unos que son de su promesa. For disobedience. Por desobediencia. Don't think that he's going to treat you any different. No creas que él te va a tratar diferente. But the other part is also this. Pero la otra parte es también esta. You will be part of the blessings now also. Tú vas a ser parte de las bendiciones también. Blessings are also there for you. Las bendiciones también son para ti. Now here's the biggest part, Juan. Esta es la parte and más grande. Alejandra. Y Alejandra. The, pro, the part is the neder. La parte es el neder. That is what we call a vow. Eso es lo que llamamos un voto. A promise. Una promesa. A thing promised. Una cosa prometida. That God doesn't let, let you out of promises. Que el Señor no te va a salir de promesas. You promise God something, He's going to hold you to it. Tú vas, le haces una promesa a Dios y Él te va a mantener responsable de él. So understand what you're about to do. So don't start sweating. Entiende lo que estás a punto de hacer. Juan starting to sweat. Juan starting to sweat. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh, polish. Thank you. Brad, <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. It's a promise before God. Es una promesa en frente de Dios. And we are his witnesses. Y nosotros somos los testigos. We are the true Jehovah witnesses. Somos los verdaderos testigos. Can I come knock on your door now? Puedo ir a golpear tu puerta ahora. Next part. Numbers 30. Numbers 30. Verse 1 and 2. Versos 1 y 2. Listen up carefully, Juan. Escucha. Because you're in charge of your house even though Alejandra thinks she is. Porque está, tú vas a hacer a cargo de la casa aunque tu esposa piensa que ella está. Verses 1, 2, and 3. Versos 1, 2, y 3. Then Moshe spoke to the heads of the tribes of the people of Israel. He said, here's what Jehovah had ordered. When a man makes a vow to Jehovah or formally obligates himself by swearing an oath, he is not to break his word but is to do everything he said he would do. Amen? Amen. Do you understand that, Juan? ¿Entiendes eso? Wait, what do, do you understand that, Juan? Yes. ¿Entiendes eso? Yeah, everybody heard Juan say yes. No, que Juan dijo oh, sí. you didn't? What did you say, Juan? Yes. Amen. amen. The only one that could, amen. The only one that could break your vow El único que puede romper tu is voto. God himself. Es Dios mismo. And God doesn't break vows. Y Dios no rompe votos. Okay, you're going to make an oath. 
Vas a hacer un voto. A Shabuah. Un Shabuah. An oath it means a, an oath. Significa un voto. But it also means a curse. También significa una maldición. And if you break your oath, the curses that God says que, will happen to you. Que si rompes este voto, los, las maldiciones de Adonai también van a pasar. If you pasar. keep your oath, si guardas tu voto, the promises will be there for you. Las promesas estarán ahí para ti. So what's going to happen now, Juan? ¿Qué va a pasar ahora? Is where you're going to become part of the house of Benjamin. Es que tú vas a ser parte de la casa de Benjamin. I am from the tribe of, the ben of Benjamin. Yo soy de la tribu de Benjamin. Okay. You can leave, only leave the congregation. Tú puedes irte de la congregación well, únicamente. let's say you want to go live in Colombia. Digamos que quieres ir a vivir nice en country. Un bonito país. Lots of mountains. Muchas montañas. And they speak Spanish. Y hablan español. Okay. Say you wanted to move to... North Carolina. And you want to leave the congregation. You can. You just have to come to me and say you want your blessing. That's what this promise is all about. Now, I'm not going to hold you. But if you leave without on bad terms, then you've left the house of Benjamin. And then God is going to hold you accountable. Y Dios te va a mantener responsable de eso. We take things very seriously here at this congregation. Tomemos las cosas muy 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 serias aquí en esta Nobody's holding a gun to Juan, say become part of the house of Benjamin. Nadie le está sosteniendo una pistola a Juan diciendo lo que sea parte de la congregación. This is his choice. Es su elección. For he and his family. Para él y su familia. Okay, going on to the next slide. Próxima página. Alejandra, listen up. Escucha, Alejandra. I know that might be a little bit difficult for you. Because Alejandra is a free spirit. Es un libre. In the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, Verso 16 y 17 Ruth made a promise. Ruth hizo una promesa. And what was so beautiful about the promise y lo que fue de la promesa, is that Even though she was a foreigner, es que ella era una even though she was a foreigner, ella era una she made this promise. Ella hizo esta she said, wherever you go, I will go. Ella dijo, A donde que vas, yo iré. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Donde duermas, yo Your God will be my God. Tu Dios será mi Dios. And wherever you die, I will die. Y donde yo muera, donde tú mueras, yo God blessed Ruth. Dios bendijo a Ruth. A Moabite. Una Moabita. Somebody, a Gentile. Una gentil. She's the great grandmother of King David. Ella es la tatarabuela del Rey David. And she made a vow with her mouth. Y ella hizo un voto con su boca. And God blessed that vow. Y Dios bendijo ese voto. That she would have a child. Y ella tendría un niño. She had been married for a bunch of years. Ella estuvo casada por muchos años. To an Israelite. A un, con un Israelita. But he died. Pero él murió. And she had no children. Y ella no tenía hijos. And then God opened up her womb with Boaz. Y Dios abrió su con Boaz. And then they had Yeshai, Jesse. Jesse. Who was the great grandfather okay. of King la, David. De la, de In Rey the line of Messiah. En la línea del so when you make this vow, Alejandra, haces este voto, Alejandra, understand that God wants to pour blessings on you and this beautiful daughter. Entiende que el Señor quiere poner bendiciones yes. a ti, esa hermosa niña. Yes, what would you like to say, young lady? Uh huh. I'm here, I'm here. We see you. Uh huh. I speak baby too. I got a granddaughter. Yes. She says, yes. That's when our granddaughter says, yes. Okay, next slide. Now, becoming a part of the house of Benjamin, Para ser parte de la casa de Benjamin. one, there, you're going to make a vow, Juan. Uno vas a hacer un voto. But two, there's a little bit of money that has to be exchanged. It's not a lot of money. No es mucho dinero. In Leviticus 27, en Levítico 27, verse 1 through 7, versos uno al siete, it talks about this little bit of money that you have to give To become part of the house of Israel. Going on to the next slide. For a man, Para un hombre, it's 50 shekels. Es 50 shekels. If you're 20 to 60 years old. Si, eh, 
Tienes 20 a 60 años. Juan, are you 20 to 60 years old? Tienes tú 20 a, de 20 a 60 años. Okay, so you're going to have to give either 50 shekels. Tienes que darme o 50 shekels. Or that is $13 in American money. O eso es 13 dólares en dólares. It's going to break the bank. A shekel is 26 cents. El shekel es 26 centavos de valor. Now, for Alejandra. Para Alejandra. Are you 20 to 60 years old? Tienes 20 a 60 años edad. A little bit under. Okay. A little bit under 20? Okay. Uh, it's 30 shekels. Es 30 shekels. Which comes out to $7.80. Que viene a ser $7.80. So centavos. for you two, the adults, Para ustedes, los it los comes adultos. out to $20.80. Viene a ser $20.80. Do you centavos. have that money? All right. All right. Now, for the baby, a la niña. she looks like a girl. Se ve una niña. She's got a pink bow. I'm going that she's a girl. Tiene un rosado y creo que es una niña. Okay. A baby one month to five years of age Para una bebé, un mes a cinco años de edad. is three shekels. Es tres shekels. 78 cents. Es 78 centavos. So, here, your baby is going to cost you 78 cents to be able to walk through one of those gates into heaven. So, the total price El precio total for the Martinez family para la familia Martinez is $21.58. Do you have the $21.58? Everybody is seeing that Juan is handing me the, the VIG. I'm going to put this in accordance with the law into the temple treasury. Okay. So we're going to do the vow in a moment. Okay. We don't have to do this next slide because we have nobody past 60 except Gabriel. Okay. Now, there's another part why we're waiting to this time. ¿Por qué esperamos hasta este tiempo? In Leviticus 12, chapter 12. En Levítico 12, capítulo 12. Now, this pertains, this pertains to uh, Ariadna and Francisco. Eso también uh, es para Adriana, Ariadna y Francisco. Because after, uh, after the Martinez family, que después de la familia Martínez, they're going to be dedicating Enoch. Van a estar dedicando a Enoch. And because it's been... 40 days and more porque, since Enoch was born. Han sido 40 días, uh, y más desde que Enoch nació. But for Alejandra, Pero para Alejandra, since she had a girl, como ella tuvo una niña, she had to wait 80 days. Ella tuvo que esperar 80 días. Leviticus 12 verse 5 says, Leviticus 12, verso 5 dice, but if she gives birth to a girl, she will be unclean for two weeks as in her neda, and she's to wait another 66 days to be purified from her blood. So it has been over 80 days that she gave birth to this little baby girl. Camila. Right, Camila? Does she have a middle name? Camila Alejandra. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh Andre, mijo. Oh, two Alejandras. Oh, I'm going to call her Cam. I'm going to call her Cami. Cami. All right. All right, so it's been 80 days, yes? 80 days. Now, once her 80 days of purification have been complete, she was supposed to be secluded for 80 days. So now she has brought the baby. Now the days of purification are over. Okay. So let's get to this. Now in Leviticus 12, Leviticus 12 verse, 6, verse 6, there's offerings that have to be brought. Hay que deben ser there is a lamb in its first year Hay un en su año. and pigeons. Y you got the lamb, or at least some of it. El it's in that bag? No. Well, you got to bring it and show it to everyone. All right, he's going to go get the lamb. It's in the back. That's a year old. Wow, that's a baby. Uh, that, that's a real, it's a mini lamb. 
Okay, so I want to go get the lamb. Give her a bink. You got a binky? Doesn't like the bink? Oh, he's lost in the supermarket. All right. We're waiting on the lamb. That's all right. Babies will cry. We have lots of those here. Some adults cry, too. Yes, we got lots of those here. All right, so want, the reason is that there has to be some sort of offering for God. There has to be an offering given to Him. It's not a big offering. God doesn't want you to, you to go poor. But what he does want is you to think about what you're doing. So here we have Ooh, lamb. Ooh, rico. Amen. So Juan has fulfilled his obligation with the lamb, and he also has brought the two doves, dove one and dove two. Dove one and dove two. Doves are very hard to find. Even though it's spring, there should be more. They're, they're hard to find, so we're going with dove chocolate. We do as much as we can. Some people don't like it. Okay? So now... We're going to bring up Juan and Alejandra. We've showed everybody the offering. And the baby. Bring up the baby. Yes. Everybody will have to enjoy part of the lamb. Okay. So there, the lamb. All right, why don't you guys come into the center here. Juan first. If this could be on, please. Is it on? Nice. All right. Now, what we're going to do now, Juan, okay. you can hold that. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Look at you, beautiful. Aren't you the second prettiest girl in all the world? <laughs> second, because my granddaughter's first. <laughs> but you are beautiful. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's okay. This is your family. We love you. We love you. We love you very much. We want to welcome you into our family. Welcome. Welcome, Camila. Welcome to our family. Now I'm going to talk to your daddy for a second. Is that okay? Okay. Now what we're going to do now is Juan is going to make a vow before the Lord. And the response is amen if you agree with what we're saying. There's one gray hair. Wow. There's a gray There's a gray hair. <laughs> I'm married and I have a child. I got gray hair now. There's two, I think. Okay. All right. Juan, do you promise to raise your daughter to know Yeshua. If you do, say amen. Amen. Wait, eh? amen. Okay, does everybody hear that? Yeah. Amen. I, I, I'm hard to hear. You're going old. You're getting old. Amen. All right. <laughs> the reason we do this, <laughs> Torah says we need two witnesses. <laughs> so we have more than two witnesses here. <laughs> One, do you uh, promise to stay married to Alejandra? Until death do you part. If you do say, hey, 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 amen. <laughs> if you do say, amen. 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 <laughs> do you promise to raise your daughter, Camila, Alejandra, in all the laws of God? If you do, say, amen. 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 Now take your daughter, and we're going to have, have Alejandra Say a vow also. Mm -hmm. Rookie. Yeah. I'm new at this. I'm only 80 days old at this. Alejandra? Alejandra. 
Do you promise? Do you know Yeshua? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you love Yeshua? Yes. Is he the head of your home? Do you promise to stay married to Juan until death do you part? If you do, say amen. Amen. What? Amen. Okay. <laughs> amen. Everybody heard it? Alejandra, do you promise to raise your daughter to love Yeshua? If you do, say amen. Amen. What? Amen. Okay, amen. Everybody heard that? Alejandra, do you promise to raise your daughter in all the laws of God? If you do, say amen. 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 Now, the last part. La última parte ahora. <laughs> it's Camila, Camila. Hey, how you doing? I want to welcome you into our family. I want to, I want to pray to God for you. Okay, we're gonna to pray to God for you. We're gonna to pray to God for you. Don't worry. I've been doing this a long time now. We, everybody, pray now. Lord, we, we ask your blessings on Camila. We ask your hand to touch her life. We dedicate her life to you today as the firstborn of the Martinez family. We ask, Lord, that you would wash her with your spirit and then she would bring joy and peace to her family. In the name of Yeshua, the Ruach HaKodesh, and the Father. And everybody said, Amen. I present to you, Camila. Don't worry, I'm a grandparent. I know it's a grandparent. My granddaughter does the same thing. Amen. Welcome to Martinez to the house of Benjamin. Shalom, this is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to The Remnant's Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders 
from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend a day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with the reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, Many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.